Fox with Astro Camp, and today I'm going to be walking you through the rocket building and launching tutorial. So, first you grab your instruction sheet right here. First step on there is you're going to stretch your inner tube over your water bottle. Any size of bottle will work. My finished product was with a two liter bottle. Smaller bottles work just as well. So all you're going to do, and if you can't stretch this over yourself, it is okay to grab a buddy. So you'll stretch one end over the edge of the water bottle. And then to secure it, grab your tape. And you can secure that right down, just like that. Next step is you're going to grab your five inches of PVC pipe and stretch the other end around there. This part is also tricky, so if you need to grab a buddy, that is absolutely fine. I think I need a buddy for this one. So you'll grab that, stretch the inner tube out, and they can push down and fold over. Thank you very much. All right. And then as is needed as well, you can secure that with tape. This step is not necessary, but it is recommended to get a greater seal. Okay, and then the next step what we're gonna do is take a piece of paper, including, and what you're gonna wanna do, this is gonna be your rocket body or fuselage. So what you're gonna do is put it around the PVC pipe, and you wanna roll it so it's tight. The tighter the, the fit, the better the launching will be. So get it as tight as you need, take as long as you need. Looks good. So then once you have it fitted like the rocket body, get another piece of tape. And secure that down just like that. And then what we're going to do is take our other piece of paper. And you can use your tape roll. That works the best for sizing. And take a pen and just trace around the middle just like that to create a circle. And this is to create the fin, or the, the nose cone for the rocket. Then you can cut that circle out. It does not have to be neat, it just has to work. <laughs> and once you have that, take a, your scissors and cut down just in the middle of the circle so you have something that resembles this. And then what you're going to do is take it and slide your thumbs across just like this. So it creates a cone. And this is going to be the nose cone of our rocket. Secure that with some tape. Lots of tape is used in this project. So once you have that, place it over the top of your rocket and then you're going to tape around the circumference of it. So you tape the nose cone to the rocket. And it is okay to squish the nose cone down into it a little bit to get a tighter seal. This is to hold the air in, so on our stomp rockets, when you stomp on the bottle, this is what's going to catch the air and give it the lift that it needs. Once you have that, you are ready to fly. Next step, fins. All right. And next step, we're gonna need some fins to get some aerodynamics going. So you can trace some nice fins out on the paper. This is where you can take creative liberty, make them as cool as you want. Mine just look like this. So you'll cut them out. You can fold the edges down. I'm just going to tape that to the body of the rocket. One fin down. sure to get it on the opposite side. So 
move. Hopefully yours looks a little neater than mine, but it'll do. Next step, you can load your rocket onto the launch pad or PVC pipe. You can put it on a table or on the floor and stop down and lift on. Thank you.